All right, so I kind of just was have been thinking about some of the videos and stuff that I've done uh, past, recently, we'll say, past few years. So I kind of and I kind of felt like I needed to give a bit of an explanation in a way. Um, pretty much kind of just explaining like my intent for this stuff in general. And because they might, for people who probably know a bit more about YouTube, probably think that I like a bounce all over the place and so on. Um, but if you couldn't tell by how I do the videos and so on, they're a little bit more informal, we'll say. Um, but a lot of this is kind of me just putting what I've been studying out there in a way. Um, I noticed, especially towards the end of when I was in college, that I, how to word it, I didn't want to be what, I didn't want to be like a lot of the people that I noticed um, where basically they get out of college or just in general, they become adults and just like quit studying in a way, quit like acting, I don't want to probably sounds like a huge nerd, but whatever. Um, but pretty, they quit like actually like improving and everything. And then, then they just like sit there and watch Netflix or whatever the hell they do. And just like, you know, from the ages of like 20 to 85 or whatever, they're the same person more or less besides, or just more coarse because of how life can be and then just whine about it the whole time. So I kind of wanted to pretty much keep up my same study habits um, while I was in school um, and kind of carry those over to not only like my career, but also just like um, life in general. And that's where like you can see, yes, my uh, the topics for the videos seem to jump around a lot, but they all kind of have a more overarching theme, if that makes sense. They're all kind of things that seem to be important for you to know in general. So the whole kind of channel in a way is more of a working paper rather than a uh, kind of like a finished product. Um, I really wanted to kind of put out there you know, like the actual like in progress working um, kind of side of things. And it doesn't work all the time. Yeah, if you scroll through the channel and see how everything's looking, um, at least in terms of like performance or whatever, some of them will say are rather lacking. Um, but it's also like, it's not my first priority sort of thing. Like, especially now I do something that um, for my actual work that's a lot more important than uh, anything I've ever done in the past, we'll say. I don't like to talk about it too much, but <clears throat> basically, yeah. So this isn't always my first priority and I kind of do it when I can. Um, it's somewhat fun, but it's more of the reason why I don't just keep this to myself in a way for one is one, to share the information and stuff that I'm finding. Um, but two, also just like the simple act of making the videos really kind of helps solidify it in my head because having to actually talk about it and you know, like mumble and jumble around on, on camera for a bit um, and then posting it somewhere for it to be public uh, really kind of helps synthesize the information for one. Um, for two, it puts it out there and so people can chastise it or whatever and that can really help kind of, it points out things that you don't realize, or, excuse me, it, put, it points out problems you didn't realize you had sort of thing, which is nice and helpful. Um, but it's also carried over a lot into my like actual like personal and professional life. So like talking in front of people now is pretty much not a problem whatsoever. You you kind of really, it makes it really easy to scale up that like customer service vibe type thing. Um, you know, like if you ever, <coughs> excuse me, 
if you ever worked in like a customer service job and like you're really shy, but like if you're in that like role in a way um, at work, it's like it's very easy to kind of just like talk to people. Um, kind of like you have that uh, that veil of authority in a way for whatever your position is. Say, see, even if it's like a uh, like a loader or whatever, someone working at, at Lowe's, um, you kind of have that. Even if it's not true, um, that kind of like people believe you kind of know what you're talking about, more or less, unless you got like your your very we'll say hardcore um, dads out there, which wouldn't be all too wrong um, to to say a lot of them know a lot more than other people at Lowe's will say. Uh, I don't know that's personal experience. Anyways, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of just putting out, they're all topics I think are important to, and kind of personal in a way, like meaning, I think they were important for me to know. And it's kind of just like background uh, information and so on. So like now, um, if you couldn't tell, I've been going a lot through like uh, World War II generals and other like major leaders and so on. And that's because I realized, like, you know, you can read all of these kind of, I don't, not necessarily personal development books, but, like, other ones, like, based on, like, leadership and so on, like, your John Maxwell, whatever, or uh, Jocko Willink, those types of authors um, and people. And you can do that all you want, but, like, you also, like, people are narrative-based. So, like, I've noticed that with myself, too, is that I'm very... I kind of need that narrative and story in the back of my head to really kind of back up a principle. And so I've been going through and kind of analyzing um, people like Douglas MacArthur, George Patton, um, Dwight Eisenhower. So I'm like, so I'm getting narratives to base up the to narratives to back up those like leadership principles and stuff that you read about in your typical books. Um, and so that's been kind of the recent thing now i've noticed it isn't all too popular um or at least i don't package it well never said i was a um a digital marketer or whatever or it's not, i guess designer whatever um not the best at that and so you get kind of cool i guess cool little skills like that too not only just the talking on camera but like you know how to make thumbnails or at least i found out how not to make thumbnails for one um but yeah, that's kind of just a little brain dump of my intent of all of this because it's been a few years now, kind of off and on because I'm at a very, we'll say volatile point in life, um, just about to turn 25. So kind of settling in on that sort of thing, but it definitely kind of helps you gain perspective as well, which is one thing I'm pretty glad I've gotten, um, I think relatively at a young age just having a wider range of experience in different things has really kind of helped point me, I think, with going to school uh, for physics and then afterwards going blue collar and being a surveyor in Florida for a while um, and now doing what I do now in the military. So there's that. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this here. Um, that's kind of a brief um, explanation of intent if you guys have any questions, I'm pretty much an open book all the time. It's just I kind of tend to get in my own head of like what I'm studying and just get that kind of one track mind for a bit. But anyways, I'm going to leave this one here. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next one.